Hi, uh, you join us here at Fradley. I've uh, been here a couple of days, it's May Bank holiday, and um, yeah, so we had two days on a two day mooring. So we're now heading off um, down on the Trenton Mersey. So we start off down through these two locks, and luckily for us, there's some volunteers here, so uh, that's always, it's always good to see them because uh, they helped us down through these two locks. From there we went on down to the next lock which is only about like a three or four minute journey and uh, just as we approach this lock on the right hand side you can see what is the start of the new Fradley Marina so it's all been dug out there's three separate pools here and uh, you can see it's between the trees there uh, there's some finger moorings that have been put in place and it's partially in water and there's some buildings being built um, for the infrastructure of the marina there's only going to be two buildings here, uh, one is the amenities block and the offices and the other one will be uh, a workshop so it's uh, got, uh, we'll have a slightly different feel to some of the more modern larger marinas um, which got all the feel of a real retail park uh, with their uh, factory outlets, um, sometimes they've got a cinema, bars and eateries so yeah this one could be slightly different. So we drop down through this lock and it's not long before we encounter a narrowboat towing another narrowboat towing a canoe and <laughs> unbeknownst to us at the time uh, this is uh, Vic and Joe and they are from Holly the Cathy Boat um, a very very popular vlog which is on YouTube um, that is it's well worth watching it's, it's just so entertaining um, I really admire their entrepreneurial spirit they're a young couple and they've um, done up uh, one of these narrow boats called Holly um, for a cafe boat so that's their business uh, and they tow that along behind Zero which is the boat they live on so if you get the opportunity uh, do take a look because they're very, very interesting there's loads of vlogs and we watched a lot of them since and we only found out about them through a friend of ours who uh, messaged us to say that um, we've just seen you on telly and uh, <laughs> when we looked into it that's what they meant they'd seen us as we passed Holly um, they were filming um, so and as it turned out we were filming as well so you can see in this bit um, yeah we're filming them they're filming us as we went past so here we are just coming under the road bridge and we cruise on down through the last lock and uh, into Arawas, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm never too sure. So we moor up on the 14 day moorings here, just managed to squeeze in by the church and um, this, is, this is a lovely mooring, it's quite peaceful and um, the other side of us you can see from this, this picture here um, we've got some, some lovely mature gardens opposite us and um, yeah it's very, very pleasant and um, we really like the village as well, it's, uh, it's very very quaint, there's lots of half timbered uh, old cottages with some um, lovely pretty thatched roofs and um, it's got a got three pubs uh, uh, and it's got a grocery store so it's you know everything we needed and uh, so we stayed here for a, a, a couple of weeks on this mooring. Whilst we're here I took a chance to finish off a seat while I was making for the back um, so I managed to glue that up while we're here.
and we also took the opportunity to go over to the National Memorial Arboretum which is only a short walk from the village just the other side of the main road and um, this is a, a national centre for um, remembrance um, they have a silence here every day in the chapel So the site is in the heart of the nation and it's part of the new national forest which I'll talk about a little bit later and it has 50,000 maturing trees on the site and 160 memorials and um, you, you could walk for ages around here we, we spent four or five hours there and we both said that we could probably come back many more times and do different walks and see um, different memorials each time because there's just so much to see. So after our two weeks in Aros, we move on to the water point just to top up the water. Uh, on the two day moorings is just on the edge of the village before we drop down through uh, the lock which goes on actually onto the River Trent for a short stretch. So there's a, a marker here on the bottom of the lock and uh, you don't go through on red, you either go through on amber and green. Um, when we went through, it was green, it was uh, yeah, it's hardly any rain, been coming down the river for some time, so the levels are okay for us to go through. And from there we went on through uh, the Witch Knoll moorings, and uh, just up to the left there's a beautiful old church as well. And then from there, we're onto the next lock, and through there, you on, go onto a straight stretch, which looks like you're going onto a nice, nice rural countryside um, from the pictures. But uh, you're, actually, you're actually right alongside the main A38 Litchfield to Derby Road, and it's right beside you in some places. So it is quite, quite noisy, but um, it's only for a, a mile or so, and then it just drops away from us again. So just along here we approach Barton Turns Marina. So this is one of those marinas I mentioned earlier which has got all the facilities you could ever want for. It's, it's got hairdressers, it's got a chemist, it's got lots of shops, um, bars, there's a cinema there. It's just like a small village in some ways. Uh, we popped on here and, and got a bottle of gas. Uh, we didn't go into the marina to moor up but we moored on the canal just, uh, just away from the entrance to the marina itself just for one night. Then we carried on uh, up through Tatton Hill Lock um, with a lovely old lock house and an old commercial barge on the entrance to it.
So Branston Village is what Branston Pickles named after. It was first produced here in 1922 uh, before production moved to London in 1924. And we moor up alongside Branston Water Park, which was like an old, old gravel pits, uh, which were allowed to return to nature. And now there's uh, all sorts of wildlife on the water and in the hedgerows and the woodlands around it. And there's a, a walk you can do all around the lake, which is very, very interesting. And there's a cafe there too. So yeah, it's very popular with family. Uh, and also we did another walk from here called um, Monks and Moorings. It's a six and a half mile walk. So this walk takes you through the village of Tatton Hall and then you climb up onto the Needwood Scarp um, and there's some lovely views here looking over the Branston Water Park and also uh, the urban sprawl of Burton-on-Trent. So you walk along this, this ridge for some time and um, you're now entering into a um, major part of the, the National Forest, um, which is a, a, a grand 30-year scheme uh, to, to plant, fr I think it's 30 million trees in uh, this part of the country. So we're talking about uh, Leicestershire, Derbyshire and Staffordshire uh, in an area which was previously the least populated area in the country of trees. So it's, it's quite a big development and it's, it's a long-term project. Yes, yeah, loads of trees have been planted here already. And then from there you, we drop down the hill through some lovely old ancient woodland. Beautiful old tree there which we went past. Um, I don't know how old it was but it was an enormous great trunk. Uh, it's got a few pictures of it here. And uh, then yeah, on through down to Burton. You sort of drop into the outskirts of Burton and then you pick up the canal. So you come back along the canal back to, to Branson. So yeah, I'll put a, a link to that on the, on the comments. So that's where we leave it today. Uh, we're at Branston now and on the next video we'll be travelling from here on through the uh, Trent and Mersey to, to its terminus really where it, go, where it joins the Trent at Shardlow. Okay so thanks very much for watching and uh, see you again. Bye.